Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing Genshin Impact once again and today we're going to be going to Bottle Land which is a new limited time quest available during this summer which is basically going to allow you to go to a new place to explore as you can see at this banner. Without further ado, let's go in. So I haven't really been doing much quests recently. I really plan to do the Inazuma Archon quest which I have been completely just not been doing. I only really want to do it on camera, but I just haven't been recording a lot. Honestly, it's been a really long time since I recorded, and I've just been doing a lot of work, and but I've been making a lot of a lot of shorts. I've been making YouTube shorts, which is a new trend nowadays. So why don't we just go in, walk into to what we see Kaya, Jean, and Klee all talking. As always, I'm not really going to pay attention to what they're saying, because really it's rather redundant. It, it's Genshin has a really bad habit of like making quests really long, and just like telling a I mean, the story is sometimes, the story is fine, but it's just like, it's, the way they present it is just really, really extraneous. So we see Klee here. I think she's just going to present us a bottle or she wants to go somewhere. And we're just going to keep tapping through it. As you can see, if you notice anything, the graphics are actually a little bit better. I, I think I enabled, like, I think it was a little bit higher of the graphics last time. Like, usually I turn off, like, I think it was anti-aliasing, which basically makes all the edges, like, rougher. But, like, now, now everything looks really, like like fuzzy almost. I'm just not used to playing with these graphics. Uh, it's been quite a while since I last recorded and the last time I recorded was probably the first part of the Inazuma Archon quest. I basically between that time I did all the story quests where you met all the characters and stuff but right now I have no idea what that is. Like, what is what did Cletus show us? I have no idea but we have to go and see what they have to offer us. It seems like we're going to Sumeru, um, which is a new region. I, I haven't actually even reached in the store yet. It's crazy because technically I think it's been like two years since Inazuma came out and I still, I'm still halfway through it. I remember only like last year that I actually reached into Inazuma. So the fact that now Fontaine is coming out, which is a new region, which is soon to come out, pretty soon. I'm not exactly too sure when. So we're going to Godarvaville. Godarvaville. So we just got transported to Godarvaville, I, I think, or maybe we got transported to Grand Arbor Hill, I don't know. Uh, regardless, I explored um, Sumeru off-camera. I did a lot of exploration and, like, combat stuff off-camera, so it's not really a big deal. And, you know, I'm just providing the most ideal mobile condition experience as possible. I'm really not sure what to record. I've been, like, at this tizzy of not knowing whether I should record something or not. And as we see, we're all the way in Sumeru, it's green. Paimon is flying, and everyone seems happy. But there's two toucans on the log, that's adorable. Um, let's see, let's see. I don't know what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm just gonna choose the first option choice for all of these, because why not? It's just like the... I don't know. I mean, if I, I'm just more consistent with my choices, then it's like... I don't really have to pay attention, I can just like turn my brain off, I'll listen to the dialogue. And these two toucans will now die and become... Chicken legs, where are they? Oh, there they are. Okay, that's perfect. <laughs> uh, they were cute while they lasted. There's also a new thing I got, which is actually very nice. I think I got, like, this thing, which is, like, the... Like, a fan, which makes me, like, fly faster or something. I'm not really too sure, and I think we see Eula and Kale over here. Wow, look at that. If you don't know who these two are, basically one is the... Well, uh, I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. They don't really matter. Um, basically, they're just characters who... Yula comes from Mondstadt, and she's basically just one of the people who work for there, and Kale is a forest ranger in Sumeru. Uh, she has a pretty complex story, but mm, I mean, as long as she's here now, it doesn't matter what her story is, right? I'm not really too sure what, what brings them here, though. I'm, I think they're like looking for like their her, her uncle or something, I don't know. But regardless, we're going to have to find out how to go to Bottle Lamb. I'm actually not too sure. I think like Bottle Lamb sounds like it's probably a land in a bottle, like the name suggests, but we'll have to see. And, oh, it seems like Eula's actually looking for her cousin. So Eula is a blue-haired one, Kale is a green-haired one. Uh, let's see what we're gonna do. I mean, I kind of already have an understanding of what we're gonna do, but, you know, it's... You gotta wait to see what surprises they pull. Honestly, I don't know why Genshin makes the dialogue so long. The quests take forever to click through. And honestly, like, uh, like a lot of the videos, like the last video I made about Inazuma Archon Quest, like I literally, I it was probably like two, one to two hours of recording, and I literally cut off like more than half of it, which is honestly a little bit ridiculous. Like, ugh, I can't believe I have to edit because editing is such a pain. Because if I record for one hour, that means I have to edit for an hour. Um, I'm sure I can probably like put the editing speed on like two times speed, but then like, ah, uh, 
I don't know if that works very well. Anyways, editing is just a tiresome process overall. I don't know what we're doing here. It's the loading screen. The problem with mobile engine is that the loading screen takes forever. It seems like we're in the desert now. I think she she used her little invitation thing to go to desert. I actually haven't like really explored the desert too much. I mean, I haven't even completely explored in Azuma yet, so of course I haven't explored like Sumeru that much. I really want to finish the Sumeru like Arc Conquest by like maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to estimate because I haven't even finished the Inazuma one. I think, like, by the time I'll reach the Sumeru Arkham Quest, like, Fontaine will already be out by then, based on my slow production speed in, this, in my recording. And I'm just really not great. Like, I'm just not sure what you guys want. Like, I'll just record what I... That's my, my experience through the quest. Even though the quests are really boring, to be honest. Like, I'm not even paying attention to what they're saying, but... Let's see what they're gonna do. It's magic invite, and I think Klee's gonna call on her little helper over here. Magic invite, magic invite, Klee needs your aid. Do something now so Klee's not afraid. And there is a bottle. Maybe it's like the genie's bottle. We can just jump inside, or we rub the bottle and the genie comes out. Maybe like, uh, maybe like, what's that? Like Dory? Dory? Dory has a genie. I don't know where her bottle is, but regardless. I still can't get over the fact that the graphics look so fuzzy. <laughs> like, I'm so used to them being so, so, um, I guess so rough around the edges, ever so literally. So, you playing with changed graphics a little bit is different. I'm also probably gonna have to change the language eventually, because, like, Genshin takes, like, oh my gosh, like, so much storage. Like, especially if you're playing on, like, a mobile device, it's taking, like, a lot of storage. It's, like, taking maybe, like, 20 gigabytes, 20 to 30 gigabytes. Like, that's a lot, honestly. And I can't get over that fact. Let's let's look around though. Okay, it looks like we have some sweet flowers here. Okay, uh, we're gonna you, go to our favorite tall man and run around with him because you know the taller they are, the runner, the faster they run, the runner they fast. <laughs> so it seems like we're inside the bottle now, and that's a wonderful experience. I've seen a little bit of the spoilers uh, about this place in Bottle Land because, well. Pretty much like this. It's like the last year, like Summertime Odyssey event. Last year I didn't record it, which honestly I didn't really. I don't think it's really that necessary for me to record what happened last year, uh, which is Summertime Odyssey event, because like I think I think I did like show a little bit of it, but not like really that much. And of course we have this year version. Uh, this is like the version of the Animoculus. So you just bump into it and it transforms. Um, hold on. I think I have. Did I get an event item? No. I heard I'm supposed to get like some sort of gadget that'll help me like find stuff or something, but I don't really know. Uh, it seems like there's one of these things though, so let's see. If I just do that, no, no, oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Now this thing is gonna like, like shoot out some, some things. I don't really care. Okay, <laughs> we're not. We don't need to go there. And as always, I'm just gonna try to rushing through all these quests and event stuff. Because, like, I only have so much things I can record. And, of course, let's see. Right now, we have we have these two banners going on. Uh, I'm not going to plan on getting either of them. Uh, I'll probably just save for, for Sumeru when that comes out. And we have a few a few mushrooms over here, it seems like. Uh, of course, there'll always be lag, especially if you're playing on, like, a mobile device. Like, it's, it's always lag is just part of the experience, you know? That's another like complaint I have with Genshin. It's just like there's not really much point to have it online. Like, why does it need like internet if it's just like mostly an online experience? I don't think the hilly trails need internet. So there's like this thing on the map. If you guys see on the corner, I don't know what that is, but it's like I think that's one of those signifying things. Regardless, I'll get that like off camera. I'll do all my exploration off camera. Like, I don't see too much point of you <laughs> of you guys seeing me wander around aimlessly looking for chests and stuff. I'm just gonna do the quest on camera and then. I think there's three parts of the quest from what I heard, so I might make have to do three parts depending on how fast I go through all of them. Honestly, by the time I finish this quest, it'll probably be like an hour in, and I really don't want to edit. So if you notice, I'm talking a little bit more than usual. That's because I don't want to edit, to be honest. So like, I don't know. Maybe I'll cut that out. Maybe maybe I'll never let you guys know my true intentions. Oh my gosh, what is the travel space up there? Yeah, honestly, that can be the heebie-jeebies too. So. There's this little blue orb thing. I think it's a screen projector. No one really knows. We're just in a special land with lots of special things. Look at that. There's a little eyeball. I don't know what that is. I think that's a pinwheel from what I heard. There's a broken one at that. And that big wheel. Who goes there? It's just a little, just a little water droplet. It gurgles. It gurgles at us. 
It's like a floating slime. It's like, mm -hmm. So hopefully it doesn't gobble us up. It can't talk though, so it's just gurgling at us. I wonder if it'll learn how to talk eventually, but... Anyways, I think we're supposed to follow it now. Uh, let's see where it takes us. Hopefully it takes us to somewhere good and doesn't drown us or suffocate us. Gurgle. Why did it stop? It can probably understand us after all. As I said, I'm not really too sure how to like do these types. Like, I used to just basically edit out all the like dialogue part and then just go straight to the straight to the hold on, straight to the um, action. But like, I don't really feel. I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose then of me recording if I'm just gonna just, like cut out all the story elements of it. But I mean, it's not like I pay attention to story elements anyway, so it's not like it matters. So it's just a confusion part for me. So let's see. We're gonna go over here, and I'm gonna say like a lot of like I remember I remember last video like I went I literally just said let's see and yada yada a lot, which is you know self reflection over here. It has been so long since I last recorded, honestly. Like if I like I haven't talked in so much because like recording is probably when I talk the most, which is I don't know if that's a sad thing but like it kind of is the truth. So we're just gonna see as you can see what we're gonna do here and this water drop is just gonna explode yeah we, we see that bubble and this is a screen projector it's gonna project stuff on the wall and i've seen i've seen some clips of this before i did it because of course you know i always have to be prepared before i do stuff and we have a whole group we have to clee over there and i think we're gonna enter the projector and this is actually a really cool part which has never been really seen in the game i'm really interested in what fontaine is gonna offer but like so we're gonna move that, and it's gonna tell us about a screen projector, blah blah blah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hate how that you can't like completely skip through that, like, I, I get it. And it's actually a really cool place, it's like a 2D platformer, like a Mario uh, looking thing. <laughs> so, I think this, this, this is like really cool, like I really like this. Um, it's like a 2D platformer, I played, like this reminds me of like those, uh, like Mario platforming. Uh, this actually also reminds me a little bit of that -ish. like I played, like if you guys see my, some of my past videos, I think I played that -ish, like maybe like a year ago, like a long time ago, like, it's so long ago. But let's see, I think we just freed that bubble friend, so now the bubble has a friend. It goes gurgles at us. I don't know why it keeps gurgling at us, it's just like... I don't know. So... Just let them talk. I don't know why we can't just skip over this dialogue. I'm not even paying attention to it, because it's pretty self-explanatory. Literally, like, literally, this game is just like, you can skip through all the dialogue and just follow like the prompts, and you'll be pretty much fine. You'll, you'll be pretty set. Like, sometimes if you... Sometimes the puzzles get a little bit confusing, but... Otherwise, it's pretty much, pretty much fine. Uh, so I don't know. Actually, actually, I say that, but I don't really know where we're going. So we're gonna go s travel over here. There's gonna be a lot to explore. And as much as I'm excited to explore it, I'm gonna explore all off camera because uh, I'm pretty sure, like, the more chests you open, you can like get uh, the skin, the the Kaya skin. And I'll probably just get that in between like videos. Uh, I might do a part one, part two thing with the bequest because like, the quests are separated like that, so I might do a video per quest. Uh, there's a little duck here. Hello. I mean, it doesn't hurt me, so I mean, I don't see any reason to hurt it. Uh, those are just, like those ocean animals. I'm pretty sure you can like hurt them. Um, oh, look at this! Look at this lamp lamp seats. I wonder if they like. <laughs> this is so such a nice vibe. I can't I sit in the chair. Yeah, look at that. Isn't this so nice? Anyways, <laughs> enough getting sidetracked. Uh, I really don't really have too much time to be sidetracked. And we're gonna see this pink hair lady. Uh, this is Sanganomia Kokomi, I think. That's her name. I don't know if I said that right. I, I'm bad at these names. And I like that they're trying to cover her up. Like, no, you cannot see her. You cannot see her until you actually see her. And we actually haven't met her inside the story quest because I did a quick start feature for this quest. So technically, we should have not. We should not actually know her if we like did it by our quest knowledge. And like, if you guys only follow along the retention content when you watch me, then you won't know like almost any of these people. Uh, but these are just like just characters. You don't really have to care too much about them. They're they're all there. She's a divine priestess, I guess. I don't know. I don't know which part of her is holy, but let's go see. Honestly, I always thought she was like a mermaid or a fish person, but she's just a person who looks like a fish with pink hair. You know, I'll notice something with a lot of characters. Uh, if they have special hair color, that means they're usually pretty special. Um, this is Idia, which is a little bit of a weird name. It's <laughs> She looks kind of funny, though. She looks like a... I don't know. She looks like a water droplet. She's so blue. <laughs> 
Uh, maybe she's like, maybe she's also a water droplet. I don't know. Maybe she's more. Um, I do know that she's gonna be like. I don't think she, I don't know if she plays a big role or not. I think she's just there. Uh, but well, let's go over here. Let's talk to this water droplet. Klee is so cute. Like Klee, look at her. Look at her jumping. And Kaya is just there being a supervisor. So we have. Well, we have Kokomi here. Uh, an old friend for me, I hope. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay, so we're getting a title. So Klee wants to be the mage. So now we're role-playing, I guess. Kai can be the master thief, and I can be the knight, and Paimon can also be a fairy, and Yula will be the sword master, and he wears a sparkly cape, and Kalai will be the healer. I don't think- the funny part is Kalai can't actually even heal. Like, Kalai is like literally an archer. She's just a forest ranger on duty. So, let's see over here. <sighs> Mascot? Okay, so Idia is the mascot now, so she replaced Paimon. Paimon used to be our mascot, our emergency food, if, we, if you want to put it like that. But now Idia can be our, our emergency water reserve. <laughs> so we have the emergency food and the emergency water reserve, and this water droplet looks very panicked. What is going on? Also, you'll notice that the water droplets move really slowly. Like, like really slowly for some reason, I don't know. Like, what's the deal? I guess they're, they don't have any legs, so I guess they can't go faster. But like, some of them, like, I guess there's like one that can go super fast, probably. I don't know. Oh, and then the whole world was turned upside down, okay. So I think she's just gonna explain to us what happened. I don't really know what happened myself, but... It's just fixed the world, basically. It's just broken for some reason. And I think this is gonna be like, leaking some stuff. Like, not, not leaking anything, this, this video has no leaks, it's just all this event, but I think this this event is like foreshadowing things that could be in Fontaine. Like, I know, I heard there's like the choo-choo cart, and over here we're gonna talk to every, like, these three groups of people. Uh, the mage and the priestess. Uh, if you don't know, please, oh, actually there's a teleport waypoint here. And I remember back in the Summertime Odyssey event, the teleport waypoints would kind of act a little bit... Like, um, Statue of the Suddens. And where, where are they? Okay, there we are. <laughs> I was, like, I'll look on the map and I couldn't find out where they are. And I have to talk to them to, like, finish quests. And I'm just gonna spam through their text as always because, really, they don't have anything interesting to say anyway. Uh, we have the two blue-haired people over here. They have a pretty same blue shaded of hair. So there's a little challenge thing behind us. I don't really know what that is. But we're just gonna run through everything. Lydia is the caretaker and the mascot. Eula is the healer, and Kale is no no. Kale is the healer, and Eula is the sword master, and Kaya is the master thief. Which, mm -hmm, okay. So it seems like we're gonna be fixing the whole world now. Uh, our idol, or not idol. <laughs> you know, the mascot and idol are pretty similar jobs anyway. Oh, there's a little balloon thing. A balloon thing up here. I'm sure of it. You can also look on the map, like, the map will, like, show you where the balloon things are. Uh, oh my gosh. Like, ooh, okay, this is a little suspicious. So, there we go, we got the balloon. Uh, we got Joyous Vouchers, which I think is supposed to help me get the, the Kaya skin. Really, I'm just in the event for the skin and to get the, the primos, you know. Uh, <laughs> that's what, that's the main... The main motivation for these. And I swear I saw a challenge here. Okay, there it is. So we're gonna go over here. Activate this challenge. We're gonna chase these these green dots. You know, it makes the story a little bit more exciting to follow when you have like chests and stuff waiting for you. So we're just gonna go through this. And almost there. And we got a chest! A common chest, though, ew. I mean, it's nice that it gave us like still like two primo gems, though, for common chests, even though it's like so common. But let's see. I say it, let's see a lot. You'll, you'll probably hear that a lot because I just don't know what to say. Uh, oh my gosh, we all, they all got their burst, okay. And that's gonna finish that little green fungus off. Okay, another common chest. Nothing too big to worry about. Really, the main thing that we want to get, like, I think we want to get mainly those, like, balloon things that we saw. Uh, we're gonna activate this. This is our little oh, gadget which makes us fly faster. Uh, I think I, I had to do a bunch of, like, Inazuma Archon, no, the reputation thing. And, okay, let's, let's jump down. I actually don't know where we're going. But, I think I just went the wrong direction, but... Okay, how about, okay. <laughs> I'm getting too distracted. 
Uh, I'm just not paying attention anymore. Where is this? Hold on, I'm gonna go back because I think I definitely, definitely need to, to rework how this is. Whoa, we had to go all the way up there. Okay, I think there's definitely a way to go up there easily. Just gonna run all the way there. Running is such a pain. I think there's probably some characters that are better for this. Let's see if I have them. I recently got a new 5 star. Uh, oop. This is my second party, which lets me run super fast. My super fast running party. So I have Rosaria, which is basically a... a uh, I don't know, she's just a depressed priest, I think. I have Dea, which is... Um, I don't really know who Dea is. I think she's just a mercenary. And I have Sayu, the raccoon, not the raccoon, the... Uh, a ninja? I don't know, the only thing I know is that it's, uh, this, this ninja is voiced by Lily Pichu. So, continue on. Okay, this is how we get up there. Okay, so there's this little rock thing I think I have to see. Luckily they give us, uh, this, and we can just hit it. Charge attack it, and it's gonna rise, and ta-da! Now open up that chest. That's not a chest. Okay, great. Now I have to... So we have Barbara here now. I replaced her with the little ninja. This Barbara is a real priest, if you want to see it like that. Uh, hit that. Hit this. And did I miss one over here? I think there's probably another one over here. No way I missed one, right? No, nope, I missed one, okay. Ah. So, we have a chest over here, and we're just gonna slowly glide over there. I should have activated my, my, my little maple leaf thing. That is fine. Uh, gonna get everything? Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, I almost fell over there. I'm like, being, this, this is like the Spider-Man web shooting things. I'm just climbing up. Uh, where, where are we going? Okay, we're going this direction it seems like. And we're just going to activate this. This will actually reduce my stamina consumption just a little bit. Uh, let's see if I can just end these dudes real quick. Do -do -do. Goodbye, these silly trolls. It's like, you know, you kind of feel bad for them, but then you realize that they're like also trying to attack you. So, you know, don't feel too bad for Hilly Trolls. They 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 lost their sentience a long time ago. They have a lot of lore. Uh, they put a lot of the Genshin put a lot of lore in their en lore in their enemies, in the enemies. Uh, up, up. Okay. Ha! I think I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer now. We found another one of these projector things. Let's see what we can do with it. Where are the components and where can it be? This lamp thingy is a water droplet. So, okay, a Hydro Eidolon. If you, like, Eidolon, that, the Eidolons are like those things from Honkai Star Wars, like the constellations, but, you know, I think they're using the, they're calling those, those teardrop Hydro Eidolons. Uh, but whatever, I don't know. Anyways, I'm getting really sussy vibes from Idia here. I don't think she's actually a human, like, I don't know. She doesn't seem very human-like. I mean, she acts like a human, but if you look at it closely, she's actually blue. <laughs> so, you know, that's that's a pretty big indicator that she ain't a human if she's blue, you know. But then again, like, I guess there's, like, more crazy characters out there. And this is a really nice part. I actually really like these these things. Um, but let's, let's go over here. We're going to get this dude. And out we go. So yeah, they're pretty easy. They're not super difficult to do these crate puzzles, and we got a gear it seems like. And I think we're supposed to like, I don't really know. I think we're saving this world because like the pinwheel stopped. I always wondered like what happens if you don't do the quest? Do they just like suffer for the rest of their life or like? Because after after summer, like this 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 event is gone. Like it ain't coming back. Like even this the first event, like the first uh, summer event is this gone, right? Like. You don't get to see it again. In fact, this Barbara skin I got was from the first event, uh, which I recorded so long ago. That's when I was still making it like more episodic, uh, making Genshin episodic. I, I don't really want to make it like episodic anymore. I mean, it's like I feel like now in like 2023, it's just, like games are just let's players are just slowly dying down, or not slowly, they already kind of died down already. And I just want to do like more like part by part, more than like 
episode one, two, three, uh, which I just sounds exactly the same, but I don't really want to put like a number to my video or associate with it. Uh, I want to kind of change that and just make it more like this part. Oh, okay. Something just shook. What the heck was that? The wheel is spinning. Oh my gosh. The wheel is spinning. What? <laughs> okay. Well, that's something. Anyways, there's just a lot of stuff happening here. And okay, Ugh, it's, it's all this turning is making me dizzy. <sighs> so, we're gonna try finishing this quest. This quest is really long. Like I said, it's just not that interesting to listen to all this unskippable dialogue. But like, come on, just let us skip it already, Genshin. Like, ugh. It's terrible. Anyways, mission complete. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not too sure how to really commentate. Like, I should. Like, I've been doing gaming content for like a few years now. Um. And by a few years, I don't really know how many years. I want to say like four years, but mm. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but it's been a very long time. Genshin has always been there. It's one of those like reoccurring series that will go in and out every once in a while. All right, guys. So I think I'm going to end the video off here. I don't want to drag out this video too long. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.